welcome to the first session for the series tutorials build automation tool maven today in this session we are going to see what is maven why use maven and how can we use maven in a test automation so let's get started so what is maven maven is an open source build tool okay now what does it open source means open source means it's basically a software developed by some team okay so you can use it like without paying anything you do not need to pay anything for using that software you can use it free okay and it's a build tool so what does it build tool means so basically maven is a tool which helps you to build the java projects okay it helps to create the projects uh, to create the archetypes basically we'll see what archetype is okay so maven maven is basically developed by the apache group so apache is the company name which has the team members who have worked on the development of the maven software and it's an open source build tool now why maven is used maven is actually used to build to publish and to deploy the projects okay now in word uh, in one word if uh, someone wants to ask you like uh, what is maven so you can say maven is a build automation tool or you can say maven is a build and dependency management tool okay so what does that build mean and dependency management means we'll see okay so when we say maven is a build automation tool and why to use maven basically what happens when we are working with maven when we create the maven project so what does maven do for us maven simplifies the process of project creating okay basically what happens when i say like project creating when you create the maven project okay maven project comes with a file called pom.xml you need to select the archetype first okay so basically what maven will do maven is going to create a project structure for you where you'll have some folders like src main java src test java src test resources these folders basically um, means like src test java is the directory is the place where we are going to keep our test cases that test cases can belong to web application to mobile application or the apis as well that doesn't matter but yeah all our test cases has to be there in the src test java directory now what does src main java means then src main java is the place is the location where you have to put your all code other than the test cases so src test java is the place where we are going to keep only the test cases other the like other than the test cases the whole code will go into the src main java okay we are going to create the packages and we are going to have create the classes and then we can create our custom methods again build automation tool why are we saying maven is a build automation tool see basically when we are working on the development of our test cases whether it is for web application of mobile or rest apis okay the end goal is to execute those test cases in the ci cd environment not just in the local machine okay so what happens when we are working with in any organization so what we have to do even if you have developed a single test case that single test case has to be there in some code repository like for example you may have github you may have bitbucket or anything else okay previously people were working with svn but now you github and bitbucket so uh the code the test case developed like the test case automated which you have done automation which you have done that code has to be picked up by the ci cd tool and the test case has to be executed in the pipeline in the ci cd environment previously uh, we are working with the jenkins team city and bamboo but now in the market like circle ci gitlab and github actions are the ci cd tools are the very powerful tools where you can push your code with the help of git it they internally use git only okay and you can create the pipeline so basically what happens now for example uh, if you want to create the cron jobs basically like uh, uh, maybe today every day like every day uh, you want to execute your test cases at 10 pm ist okay so we can have that kind of scheduling stuff here with the cicd tools or if you want to uh, execute your test cases when there is a code push when there is a code push in the pre prod branch of your main application okay so these test cases will execute so there are the different configurations these are the different settings which you can do with the pipelines so build automation tool i think we are clear with this so again the second thing is dependency management so why are we saying that yeah <coughs> so sorry maven is a build and dependency management tool so we are clear with the build now coming to the second part the dependency management see maven actually helps us to download the dependencies now what are these dependencies these dependencies are nothing but the libraries or the jar files okay 
so what does happen see for example if you want to work with selenium web driver api if you want to work for the web automation you want to develop some test cases using selenium and java okay so you do not need to install what you do not need to install selenium web driver api but when we create the maven project we get one file called pom.xml we'll see in the later uh, slides okay when we create the maven project we get some file called pom.xml file that is a project object model which is a fundamental unit of the entire system of maven okay so there we have to put some code so that what happens from the remote repository from the maven central repository the whole code itself the whole code itself which is required for the web automation that is given by the selenium web driver api will get downloaded from the remote location to your local machine for example just a second let's just go to maven central repository so you just type maven repo you open any browser open a new tab and search for maven repository so this is basically the url this is the now here is the place here's the search box where you have to search for the requirements like whether you want to work with the test ng as a testing framework you can search for test ng click on the search button so what this maven repository will you do for you so if you click on the test ng it is going to show you it is going to give you all the versions uh, given by the test ng team so far okay now if you work if you want to work for the selenium you search for the selenium now selenium supports multiple programming languages right so this first one is for the selenium java so if you click on the selenium java you can see all the versions provided by the selenium team okay now this is the latest version 4.8.1 4.8.1 now what happens see the already selected tab is the maven second one is gradle gradle short gradle kotlin <coughs> spt okay so these are the different <coughs> These are different build tools basically, but we are going to work with Maven. Okay, so pom.xml file. Okay, we have to copy this code. Just select this code and copy. In Mac, command plus C, you can use the shortcut. And in Windows, you can uh, go with the Windows plus C. Okay, so this will be copied. Copy to clipboard. Okay, so you search like we first we went to the Maven repository. Then we search for the required, uh, required libraries like Selenium okay for the web automation now you have to put this code basically now when we create like suppose uh, this is a screenshot from the IntelliJ IDE when we are working with IntelliJ IDE and we are going for a maven project okay so maven project ask IntelliJ IDE is going to ask you some details like what is the name you want to give so basically i have given the name like tutorial youtube rajat build automation tool maven okay second parameter is the location where exactly this project will be saved in your machine okay third is the jdk so basically we already have done the java jdk part and the maven setup part right okay yeah <coughs> we have already done it <coughs> you can check the video just a second how will you be able to access it if you come to this uh, profile and if you check the playlist section if you're working with mac you can refer these videos if you're working with windows you can refer this suppose if i if you're working with the windows os so here are the videos like yeah this one this first one is for the java jdk setup you can refer and the second one is for the maven setup in your machine okay you can refer these videos coming back yeah now the other option we have the IntelliJ is giving us to select the archetype basically we are selecting the maven archetype quick start okay and we are giving some advanced settings like uh, a group id what does that group id means we'll see what does that artifact id means we'll see okay and this is the person name so create maven project maven will create the project structure for us you see the project itself has been created in the IntelliJ IDE what happens this is the name we gave tutorial YouTube Rajat build automation tool Maven okay and you see I have not created these folders manually like SRC then SRC has something called main then main has something called Java then there is a package called org.learning you see what org.learning is org.learning is the group ID basically which we provided at the time of the project creation project maven project creation basically okay so this src main java application this src test java this everything has been created by the maven automatically 
I have not done anything. Okay. Also, Maven does Maven comes with a file called pom.xml file. Now, all the contents will be declared in the pom.xml file. I mean to say, what all our dependencies you are going to use, baby. For web automation, if you want to work with Selenium web driver, you have to define in the pom.xml file. If you want to work with the test ng as a testing framework, then you have to define the test ng in the pom.xml file. Okay. Now, pom.xml file. I have seen like uh, when I take interviews, so I have seen the people like uh, very confused with this, this pom.xml file. See guys, this pom.xml file is the fundamental unit for the entire Maven system. And this pom means project object model, not page object model. Okay. I created a video earlier as well for the page object model. So I clearly mentioned there as well, like page object model is a design pattern and this pom.xml is a project object model. Okay. Coming to the next slide. Now you see in this screenshot what I have done, um, I am into the pom.xml file of the same project, tutorial YouTube Rajat, build automation tool Maven. Okay. And what I did under the dependencies tag, if you check the line number 17, 18, 19 to 23, I have actually added the dependency of Selenium. If you check, just a second, you see what is the group ID for this project, for the Selenium one, org Selenium HQ Selenium, right? org Selenium HQ dot Selenium. Okay. And the artifact ID is Selenium with Java. Okay. Because what I am going to do is we are going to use Selenium web driver API with the support of Java programming language. Okay. And on the line number 22, the version has been mentioned 4.8.0. Okay. Now what happens basically when you add these dependencies and you load the Maven changes. Once you copy this, uh, this code, the XML code from the Maven central repository. Okay and you load the Maven changes in the IntelliJ or Eclipse IDE. So these dependencies, you see, all these packages are coming from Selenium HQ. This is an option like Maven dependencies. So all those dependencies related to the Selenium with the version 4.8.0 will be added to your project. Those dependencies will be downloaded to your local machine. There is a place called .m2 folder. When you're working with Windows, if you are working with Linux, if you're working with Mac, there's a location, there's a folder called .m2 where all this will be downloaded. Now suppose uh, this session I am recording on the uh, Mac OS. Okay, so if you see, if you search for, just a second, let me open the finder, new finder window and uh, go to the folder. You see, I have something called users Rajat Verma at .m2. So basically in the Mac, there is a place called, there is a directory, there is a folder name users, then there will be a username. In my case, for my machine, the username is Rajat Verma and there is a folder called .m2. Okay. If I just press enter key, I have this folder called repository. You see, everything which is present here under the repository, under the .m2 folder is basically downloaded from Maven. Okay. Now suppose if I have worked with the Selenium Web Driver API. So what is the group ID here? ORG, right? It starts with ORG. So look for a folder called ORG. We have it. Open it. Now suppose if I have worked with Selenium earlier in my machine. If this is not the first time I am going to use Selenium. If I am not going to add the Selenium dependencies in the Maven project. So first time it will download that dependencies from remote from Maven central repository to my local system. Local repository. Okay. Otherwise it will be here. So you see. The second thing, org dot, then we have Selenium HQ. Okay, we got Selenium HQ. If you open it, then we have Selenium. Okay, now inside the Selenium, you see, we have everything. These are all the required uh, classes and the custom methods which are developed by the Selenium team are present here. For example, just go for Selenium API. You see, these are the different versions. <coughs> Sorry. Previously, like uh, when 4 was not there, we were mostly working with this 3.141.59. Okay, but now the many versions have been come. So all those versions, all those dependencies will come from Maven central repositories to one uh, standard place .m2 folder in your machine. And your project is going to have a reference for that. Like if you go into the 4.8.1, so you see the jar file has been added. This is for the 4.8.1. If you open the 4.4.0, you will get it for 4.4.0, okay? So, 
that's all for this session in the upcoming sessions we are going to create the maven project we are going to see like what does that maven project folder structure uh, like how exactly it is and what all operations we can do in the form.xml file we are going to cover the build, build life cycle as well we're going to have the session for it we're going to see some plugin we're going to see the profiles option and we'll execute the test cases using maven okay so i think that's all for this session thank you for your time have a very good day